Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today, we're going to talk about color grading black and white images. This is a technique that's becoming increasingly popular in street photography, urban photography, and even some types of fashion photography. Using the new color grading tools that are in Lightroom make this super easy to do. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about three different color harmonies you may want to consider using when you're color grading black and white images. And we're gonna start out with the most common color harmony, that is complementary colors. Now most often, you're going to just do this to two tones in the image, highlights and shadows, and you're not going to do anything with midtones. And the way I like to do it, is I like to go to highlights first. And I'll go to this circle, uh, the highlight circle, and I'll just move it till I'm uh, giving those highlights a color tone that I like. And for this, let's just say, for the sake of argument, that I like it right there. Now when I put it right there, make note of the numbers that are above it, specifically that H number. You can see there's H, S, and L. The H number is 60. That is called the hue angle. If that H number is between 0 and 179, to get the complementary color of it, just add 180 to it. If that H number is 180 to 360, just subtract 180 from it and you'll get the complementary color. Now since I'm below 179, I'm 60, add 180 to it. And the complementary hue angle to this would be 240. So simply go over to the shadows and put 240 in here. Or somewhere around 240, you know. It's kind of sometimes hard to put it exactly, but then you just dialed in complementary colors to the highlights and shadows on this image. It's really as simple as that. Now what you could do then is to experiment further is you could go to the highlight luminance sliders below each of these and you could make them brighter or darker. You also could go down to the balance slider down here and move this around to just give it either a little bit more of the highlights um, shading that you did color tinting that you did or a little more of the shadows if you go to the left. Now the blending, because it's a black and white image, the blending won't do a lot. You can move that around a little bit as well. Now if you want to mess around with midtones, feel free. Uh, there's no rules. Just dial in a color that looks good with those two colors. What some people like to do, since we went a oh, 180 degree difference between these two, they'll put one in the middle at 90. So since highlights was at 60, Instead of adding 180 to it like we did shadows, we'll just add 90 to it and we'll get 150. And then they'll dial in a hue angle of 150 over here. Now, personally, I don't like that, but that's something you could try uh, if you like. So we just dialed in um, a complementary color harmony to this black and white image. Now, the next color harmony I want to talk about is called the triad color harmony. This one's a little more difficult. Uh, it's not as common, something you won't use quite as much. Triad colors are equidistant from one another on a color wheel. So in other words, they're each 120 degrees apart from one another. So what I like to do is I like to go to either highlights or shadows first. I'll go with shadows, let's say. And basically, you want the first adjustment to be 100 below like less than 120 degrees. This makes it easier for you to calculate the next two adjustments. So let's just go here and I want it less than 120 degrees. So I'll go in here and I'll make uh, the shadows 40. Okay, so the hue angle there is 40. So then I could go up here and just add 120 to 40 and I get 160. So I'll put 160 in here. Right? And then now add 120 to 160 and we get 280. And then I'll go down here to the highlights and I put 280 in there. So now I just dialed in triad color colors, the triad color harmony on these uh, highlight shadows and midtones of this image. Now again, I could come in and I could um, move these luminance sliders around to try to influence it the way I want to influence it. I also could do that balance slider as well. So you could then just color tone this image in the triad color harmony um, like technique or method. Again, this isn't 
as popular as the complementary colors. Like complementary colors, you'll probably use 90% of the time. Try it every now and then, but it's, it's worth trying. And the next one you'll probably use the least. We're going to go to the third image here. And for this one, I'm going to use the analogous um, color harmony method. Analogous colors sit right next to one another on a color wheel. So they're 30 degrees apart. So just start with any wheel you want. I'll start with uh, the shadows again. And I'll dial in, let's say, I don't know, like, I don't know, 240. So I have, well, 239, all right? So I have 239 in shadows. I'll go to midtones. Now I could go, I could add 30 to it and make it 269, or I could subtract 30 from it and make it 209. Um, let's just make it, I don't know, 209. So we'll go to 209. So, all right, so we have these two 30 degrees of view angle apart. This one has to be 30 degrees from that one or that one. So um, we're at 209 here. So I'll subtract another 30 from it and make it 179. So this will dial in 179. So you can see how these, these colors are very close to one another. And now we have the analogous um, color harmony method done on this image. Again, then you could come in with these luminance sliders and move them around to try to get the look you want and or move this balance slider. But because they're analogous colors, you won't get probably as much an effect on that balance slider. And you could move the blending around as well and see if there's anything better or if it looks any better with that. So those are the three color harmonies you should consider. Again, complementary colors are just usually highlights and shadows and they're 180 degrees apart. If the first number you dial in is 179 or less, add 180 to it. If the next number, or if that number you first number you dialed in is 180 or more, subtract 180 from it to get the complementary U angle. Um, the next one, again, was that triad color harmony. These are 120 degrees apart. Just make sure that all three uh, colors you do are have U angles that are 120 degrees away from one, each, one another. And the analogous method, they're all 30 degrees apart. So uh, check it out. See if this is something you like to do. Um, you know, give it a try. Maybe you could um, kind of develop something that would be kind of a signature look for you and your images. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.